Treat canine worms. Learn what to do about these parasites in dogs. Canines can become afflicted with several different types of internal parasites, commonly called canine worms. The most prevalent tipsy of worm that dogs may have are roundworms and tapeworms. Roundworm infestation can be quite high in puppies. Tapeworm infestation may also be a problem for your canine, especially if he has fleas. If your dog has worms, he may experience weight loss, blood in his stools, dry hair, and vomiting. If you think worms may be a problem, you should take your dog to the veterinarian. While there are over-the-counter medications available, they can be dangerous if they are not given in the proper dosage. You should also know that not all worms can be killed with over-the-counter medication. When you take your puppy in for his vet visit, you should also take a stool sample. The vet will look to see if your dog has any microscopic worms that may need to be treated. Don't worry. This is one of the more common dog health issues. You just need to make sure you keep a close eye on your pet so you can spot it quickly. Here's how to get rid of these parasites in dogs. Roundworms A female roundworm produces hundreds of thousands of eggs each day. These eggs are deposited in the soil. When Fido plays in contaminated soil and ingests worm eggs, they will hatch in his intestines. The larvae is then carried into Fido's lungs through the bloodstream. Once in the lungs, the larvae will crawl up the windpipe and get swallowed. This will normally cause your puppy to gag or cough. Once the larvae have been swallowed, they will live in your pup's intestines and grow into adult roundworms. Look for canine worm symptoms. If your pup has roundworms, he will have a pot-bellied appearance. He may also have poor growth. Roundworms can be seen in a pup's stool and even his vomit. These parasites can grow up to 7 inches long. A severe infestation can be very dangerous. It can cause an intestinal blockage which can lead to your pup's death. So, always watch your dog so you can quickly spot the symptoms of these worms and get treatment. Tapeworms Dog tapeworms are transmitted through fleas. Your dog may be susceptible to tapeworms if he is a hunting dog and has ingested a game animal that has a tapeworm infestation. Likewise, your dog may get tapeworms if he ingests fleas that have been on wildlife. You may see eggs or segments of worms in your dog's stool. These segments will move for a while after they have excreted. They are flat and resemble rice. The segments may also become stuck to the hairs around your dog's rear end. 
Tapeworms cannot be killed by over-the-counter medication. You will have to take your dog to the veterinarian for treatment to get rid of them. Caution, not all dogs will display symptoms of worms, even if he has them. You should take a stool sample to your vet on a regular basis to be tested. Quick Tips To prevent human infestation or reinfestation to your dog, you should remove dog feces from your yard routinely.